Happy New Year, everyone. New Year's Day, 2022. Figured I'd give everybody an update on the Osprey project. The, um, the engine crankcase has been put together and I've got it back up on top of the airplane and that's going to allow me to do a lot of work this, uh, this winter and involving uh, mounting the cowling and getting the ignition and the um, controls in place. Those cylinders are, are old. Uh, they're not airworthy. I, I uh, just borrowed those to stick them on to allow me to do this work. And uh, I think that's going to work out all right. We'll go around the front of the, the engine here. Okay, I've got the uh, coil packs mounted up on the uh, spots where the bags would normally go. I've got uh, the secondary alternator mounted on the accessory case. That's a 20 amp. I have the controls for the throttle and cold air return finalized. Uh, they've got to be disconnected one more time to uh, take the engine off, but uh, it's kind of finalized there now. I want to thank Ross from SDS Ignition uh, for his custom work. He uh, made that uh, throttle arm there. That's not the stock location for his throttle bodies, but he was able to uh, create that one um, for me. That all worked out quite well. You can see the cold air valve there. I'll see if I can get that to open and close for you. So if you're not familiar with it, this is to allow cold air, um, alternate air, for the engine if the filter were to become plugged somehow with some thawed or perhaps some ice. Hopefully we'll never see ice with this airplane. That all worked out quite well. There's the throttle and alternate air that controls. That's the throttle there and that's the uh, alternate air control there. All that work was done when uh, Brian bought the, uh, the Osprey. Um, all the work that was done on this airplane is, is very well done. It's top-notch throughout. 